In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving a Compound Linear Inequality Graph Solution Basic. We're asked to solve this compound inequality. We have 2x plus 3 is less than negative 5, or 2x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 4. And I'll start by recalling that an OR compound, I'll be looking for where either of these two statements is true. If we would have had an AND compound inequality, I would need both of the two statements to be true. I'm going to start with the inequality on the left. 2x plus 3 is less than negative 5, and I want to isolate the x on that left-hand side. So I will subtract the 3 to the right-hand side, giving me a 2x less than a negative 8. And then to solve for the x, I would divide both sides by 2. Canceling on the left, I have x is less than negative 4. This is my simplified inequality on the left. Notice the inequality sign stayed in the same direction because we never multiplied or divided by a negative. That would be the only thing to change the direction of that inequality. And then the second inequality, We'll also want to isolate the x on the left-hand side. Here I'll start by adding 2 to both sides. Canceling on the left gives me 2x greater than or equal to 6. And then to isolate the x, I'll divide both sides by 2. x is greater than or equal to 3. That's our simplified second inequality. Again, the direction of the inequality stayed the same because I never multiplied or divided by a negative. And now I'll move to graphing each one of these on the number line. The first one here in green says that x is less than negative 4, not equal to negative 4, so that's going to be an empty point with the arrow going to the left since it is less than. And then for the right-hand inequality, that says that x is greater than or equal to 3. So this is a solid point. Greater than means going to the right. And then we look back and see that this is an OR statement. So my solution would be where either of these two exist. So when graphing the compound inequality, it would be everything to the left of negative 4 plus everything greater than or equal to 3 to the right, this would be the graph of our compound inequality.